talking, yeah. Uh, Ro, um, what I've got here is a little present for you. It's a Chris Cox flyer. Wow. Hey. What's that say? One of the most exciting entertainers in Britain, The Guardian. Shut up, it's embarrassing. <laughs> um, Ro, what I want you to do is stab that flyer about halfway into this program, leaving half of it sticking out, and imagine stabbing someone you don't like. Here he goes. It's Take a good that, stab. Jeremy Corbett. Lovely. Rose, you managed to... <laughs> you select the page very nice. What I'm going to get you to do is sign this page so I can't switch or change it just up here. And also, that means I can put it on eBay, uh, yeah. which is very handy. I'll take that back. Rove, look into the distance, see the red light. And on that red light, I want you to imagine a small circle about the size of a 10 cents piece, maybe slightly smaller, just glowing in the distance. Can you see that in your head? Yes. Yes, you're on brilliant drugs. Well done. Um, <laughs> keep looking at that small circle. Put your hand out that you wrote and sign your name with. Take the pen back, draw that circle in the air and place this hand behind your back. Be careful not to get the pen on your clothes. This hand out in front of you. Your page that will later go on eBay with your signature on it. Grab hold of it right here and place it behind your back, but don't let the pen touch it just yet. Okay. In a second, Rove, on the count of three, you will draw that small circle onto the page. Okay. Once you're done, you'll have a look and Rove will see if he's circled any words. If he has, brilliant. If he hasn't, we are going to go through this all again. <laughs> so no pressure, Rove, on the count of three. One, two, three, draw that small circle. Are you done? Done. I'll take the pen off you. You have a look at the page. Have you managed oh. to circle any words? Yes. Yes, can you remember the words you've circled? Yes. Yes, okay, close the magazine up and just think about your words. How many words are you thinking of? Uh, there's just one. Just one. Now, Rove, I'm a mind reader who can't read minds. I use magic, psychology, reading body language, influencing devilish good looks and lying to make <laughs> you think that I know what you're thinking. And I know a lot of you are thinking this. You're thinking, I didn't know the kid in the wheelchair from Glee does magic, but uh, <laughs> turns out he does. Unbelievable. Um, Rove, you're thinking of how many words? Was it one word? It's one word. Okay, I'm going to work that out for our big dramatic finale. Just think about it, imagine writing it, imagine saying it, and there we go. Thank you very much. Rove, the word you are thinking of is raven. <laughs> I really, really wish it was, oh. but it's not. Do okay, I um, no, it's all right. Uh, no, uh, don't tell me. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure they can edit around this. Um, all right, I tell you what, it's not as easy as it looks. There's, what, 2,300 people in here. Yes. Let's see if they can read your mind. You currently have selected one word at random from one page at random. Yes. Think of that word and send it to everyone in here. Focus on them. You guys, you just need to start to imagine seeing a word appear, okay? So send this word through me. Don't laugh at my skinny arms. Send this word through me, Rove, and you guys need to start just seeing a word appear. And on the count of three, you're all at the top of your voice is going to shout out whatever you think the word is. Of course, the only way we're going to know that they're right is you letting us know that they're right, Rove. Okay. So believe you can do this. On I the count of three, ladies believe. and gentlemen, whatever you think the word is, shout it out at the top of your lungs. Rove, you've got to let us know if they're right. One, believe in yourself. Two, you can do this. Three! Is it time? Yes. Yes!